We've reaped anything worth value from the fort and its surrounding lands and burned it all to the ground. We then made for the highlands to set up our new war camp while we prepare for battles to come. Avery has not taken well to hard marches. I don't suppose you get a lot of exercise when most of your day is spent on your knees. So we're trying to figure out why the Sun Church threw their hat in the war. Possibly for massive political favors and or donations? Maybe a chance to become the head church of Wolf Lake? Avery has been completely blind to the politics running rampant through Wolf Lake and was shocked to find out she was being shipped to the front lines with her fellow clerics and paladins to lend support. Our camp paladin, follower of one of the warrior gods, wanted to listen in on this, and even he agrees that it doesn't make sense for the Sun Church to have joined up like that. Even he isn't here on official business. He's here because this is what he does. The Sun Worshippers aren't warriors. At least, that's not what they've been preaching. 